Uh, my name is Gene Yaw, and I assume you want to know my official capacity. I'm a state senator for the 23rd Senatorial District uh, here uh, in central Pennsylvania. That represents uh, five counties. That would be uh, Union County, Lycoming, Bradford, Sullivan, and Susquehanna counties. Thank you. What is your office doing in regard to Marcellus Shale activity? That that's a very big question. Um, the office, in in general, uh, is uh, since it is a big uh, issue in our uh, district. Uh, one of the things that we try to do is stay on top of what the business, what the industry is doing. I try to stay informed um, of activities in the industry. I've been on numerous drill rigs, uh, sites, pipeline sites. Uh, compressor stations, uh, water sites, I, I, because I think that it is so important to this area that that's part of my job. Now, uh, specifically though, uh, I've introduced a couple of pieces of legislation which have an impact on the Marcel shale industry also. Uh, one of them is Senate Bill 297, which is a bill uh, which would reduce the, the uh, uh, disclosure period uh, for information, and what I mean by that is all wells that are drilled in Pennsylvania are reported to uh, the Department of Environmental Protection. But all that information that's, that's reported under current law is kept confidential for a period of five years. Uh, my, uh, the bill that I have proposed would reduce that confidentiality period from five years to six months. And the reason for that is to make it a more open process. There's a lot of information that is submitted to DEP, uh, and it should be available publicly. And I've got uh, the commitment of uh, DEP, if uh, this bill passes, that uh, it will be posted on their website, uh, which I think has a lot of advantages. First of all, as I said, it makes it available to the general public. Uh, and to be very honest, it makes a, a, a kind of a double check on the drillers as to what they're doing. Uh, and also, it, it is a way to advertise the quality of what is here in this industry to other people and perhaps uh, increase the competition and the interest in Pennsylvania, which is one of my goals. The other bill that I have is an amendment of the Clean and Green uh, Law. That's Senate Bill 298. Um, and briefly, what it is right now is that some, if there's a drill site on a 200-acre parcel of land, uh, some of the uh, counties believe that that should be considered a violation of the clean and green uh, provision if you have your property in clean and green. So you might have a five-acre drill site and 200 acres in clean and green, and what happens is the entire uh, property, all 200 acres, is violated. Uh, you pay rollback taxes for seven years. And then the irony of it is then you can, put the, the, you can go ahead and put the 195 acres back in the program. And I thought that's, it's not fair to landowners. It's not fair to a lot of the farmers who are in, involved in this particular uh, situation. So my bill would, says that uh, the only property that's subject to clean and green rollback taxes would be that part which is actually used for the drilling operation. Interesting. Uh, what are your hopes for more Marcellus Shield drilling? Well, I, I, I guess I'm a real optimist about uh, the Marcellus Shale in this area. I really look at this as like it is a, a tremendous asset which uh, if we manage it properly in, here in Pennsylvania, it could, uh, it could be a positive effect uh, literally for generations. And uh, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, I, I don't mean this to be facetious, but uh, it's like uh, I really feel it's our turn. Uh, for a lot of things that have happened in Pennsylvania, this area uh, north of Interstate 80 has kind of been uh, a stepchild and left out, and we're uh, out in the country folk and everything. Um, uh, sure, we all live here because we like that atmosphere and I want to preserve that, but on the other hand, if there's an asset here that we can use and 
benefit all of us. I, uh, that's what I'm looking forward to, and that's what I hope that will come out of this industry. What are your concerns or fears about Marcellus Shell activity? I'm not sure that concerns or fears is the right way to put it. Um, and I've thought a lot about this. Uh, if you ask me what my concerns or fears are, when I go home tonight, when I drive down the road, I mean, do I have a concern uh, that my car won't uh, fall apart? Uh, yes. Uh, or that I won't get hit by a tractor trailer or something like that. Um, but when I look at this, the gas industry, uh, there are a lot of things that maybe, uh, I, I don't mean this to, to say that I accept everything, but look at the history of the industry. Um, they've been around for 100 years. Uh, these people, they're not. New, it's a new industry to Pennsylvania. The people who are in this business, though, have been in it for a long, long time. Uh, they have experience all over the world. Uh, they're they're sophisticated operators. Uh, yes, they're they want to make money. There's no question about that. Uh, that's uh, kind of that's the capitalistic society that we live in. But uh, they're not here to make enemies, and it uh, makes no sense for them to come into an area and make a lot of enemies uh, when they're going to be here literally for decades. So um, when I say fears, uh, I don't have a lot of fears. Uh, I think that uh, it would be uh, not recognizing reality to say that uh, are there going to be some problems? Of course there are going to be problems with any industry, with anything that happens. Uh, if there's a new road built somewhere, th there are problems. Uh, but I think that uh, I have enough faith in uh, the American ingenuity and uh, the creativity that uh, the problems that come up will work. Uh, we'll work on them, we'll solve them, and hopefully we'll all come out of this better at the end. If DEP needs more staffing to adequately ensure environmental safety, would you work to secure more staffing for the Williamsport DEP office? Yeah, that's a good question, and and uh, they probably in the in the future, as this industry ramps up here, will need more staffing. Now, there are some things. Uh, so the answer is yes. I I have no problem at all in supporting uh, uh, more staffing and. Um, about a year or so ago, the secretary of DEP uh, was asked the question specifically, did he need more laws or rules or regulations? And at the time, he said, no, what he really needed were more feet on the ground, so to speak. And the, the staff here in Williamsport has increased significantly. Uh, there are also provisions uh, uh, in the legislature to increase a lot of the filing fees. Uh, which the gas companies pay, and those filing fees will go to help pay for additional personnel. Have you heard of the New York DEC recent study showing radioactivity in gas well water from Marcellus Shell drilling in New York State? Uh, I've heard of it, but uh, in all honesty, I haven't read uh, any of the reports or anything. Uh, I would say this, though. Uh, I am aware that uh, it's called NORM, it's a naturally occurring radioactive material. Uh, it is something that comes out of the ground. Uh, I'm also aware uh, in this area that anybody who digs a foundation and builds a house is going to run into radon gas, which is radioactive. And actually, if you drive through any uh, uh, of the uh, cuts, the stone cuts along a road, uh, there, there's a, a level of radioactivity there, which is naturally occurring. So. I'm not exactly sure. The one, the one uh, article I think I read about this is that uh, uh, that level of radioactivity was so many times more than drinking water. Well, I don't have any intention of drinking this, uh, uh, and it's like uh, I'm not sure that I would drink water out of the oil sock when it, in the springtime when it's running muddy either. So, uh, once again, I think that it is something. It's a naturally it's something that happens as a result of this, this industry. Uh, and uh, again, I think that uh, there are ways to treat it, and I'm assuming that uh, we will treat it. And I, I have faith in DEP uh, here in Pennsylvania, uh, and I, I think the DEP has done a pretty good job of regulating this industry along with the Susquehanna River Basin Commission. And uh, it would be interesting to see what the details of this report are.